Hey y'all, so today we're doing a 3-in-1 get ready with me. Now we're just gonna jump right into this because I've never really done this type of video and I'm not trying to waste anyone's time. Now I know 99% of you are here to see my makeup. This is not an extensive foundation routine because I feel that has to be earned. You gals, guys, and plus are fantastic. But I wanna see if these videos can do well first before I give you guys all the tea. But I'm basically just laying down my base in this first clip. Now I'm laying down my contour. It's nothing too crazy. I like to go pretty light with my makeup. A lot of you be accusing me of wearing pounds of makeup, but my makeup routine is really not that deep. Um, and now I'm setting my face. This is not my favorite setting powder, but I do like it a lot and it's a great substitute. Now I'm applying my highlight. and I'm setting my contour with powder. Now the shades I use are not very different from my skin tone. I don't like anything very dramatic. And as you can see, I'm blending out with my foundation brush so everything is really seamless. Here I'm using a finishing spray because I ran on my setting spray. And now I'm going in with an eyeshadow from one of my Juvia's Place palettes. If you guys wanna know exactly which one, please check the description box. Now I should have used an eyeshadow primer because as you can see my eyeshadow is a bit splotchy but we're just gonna move on to my brows and I don't do anything crazy. Everyone's always asking me about my brows but they're naturally bushy like caterpillars. So I just use some clear brow gel to tame them. I don't do anything else because I really cannot come and kill myself. And like I said, I like to keep my makeup routine extremely simple. It's really not that deep. So now I'm applying my lengthening mascara because I don't wear lashes. Again, I really can't come and kill myself. I don't have that energy. I like to just use a lot of mascara on my natural lashes because they're already long enough. Now I might want to grow them longer, so if you have tips, please drop them in the comments down below, but I love my lashes. So we're obviously still applying this mascara and I'm just gonna take this opportunity to let you all know to subscribe to my channel and turn those notifications on so you know exactly when I post a new video. Please also be sure to thumbs up. If you're enjoying this content, I'm trying to do different things for you all and everyone's always asking me about my makeup. Be sure to also follow me on Instagram and Twitter. On those platforms, you can easily talk to me and request certain types of videos. I'm much more responsive there. And then of course, I'm a photographer, so you may as well check out my fantastic work. So really like high key, the mascara is actually the longest part of my routine, which is kind of crazy. But because I don't wear lashes, I need this to be the longest part of my routine. So my lashes are still super ethereal. So now I mix these two lip colors together. One is from Jax, the other is from a brand, a young brand I don't remember, but everything's going to be linked down in the description box. And I basically just put on the burgundy shade first and then layer my purple over top so it has more of like a galactic vibe, you feel me? Now I like to line my lips very well. I don't overline nor do I underline because I love the way my lips look. So Auntie Jacqueline of Jax Cosmetics just released this holographic loose glitter and also glitter oils and this has been my recent obsession so I've just applied that all over my face. And now I'm going in with my blush. Now I used to not use blush ever but now I use a lot of blush. At this point when I'm doing my makeup it's either I use a ridiculous amount of blush or I use no blush at all. There's really no in between. There's no collecting $200 and passing go. We only go straight to the boardwalk. That's really just the bottom line. If you get that reference, comment down below with any money or currency emoji or symbol. So now obviously we're going in with the hair. I'm not a wig or weave guru, but I know my way around a curling wand. So, I mean, we're just going to part this hair and get this thing going because even though my fingers are not as adept as my sister's, I still need to be attractive. So <laughs> now this hair is from Mega Look Hair. All the details for the hair are going to be down below in the description box. I've had this hair for a long time. I was supposed to do this review like 20 bazillion years ago, but your girl has been busy getting that quaint. 
in other ways so don't judge me but long story short i'm basically just parting the hair putting on a ridiculous amount of mousse and tying my scarf on there so that it can set in place And after brushing, I'm going in with the curling iron. Now this first part is actually a huge struggle. I'm not finna lie to y'all. I struggle with this first piece because it's been how many years since I've wielded my curling iron? <laughs> a good like five or six, lowest of low keys. So um, it's kind of a mess. You can see that down the line, I got the hang of things. So we weren't struggling the whole way through, you know, as a baby girl, I learned as I go from time to time. So, you know, things got better. But I'm just gonna show you my struggle so you know you're not alone. If you can relate, comment down below and let me know how you struggled with your hair. So I'm speeding this up because as you can see here, my technique has improved significantly. Now I'm remembering how to actually wield the curling iron. And basically what I do is after I've heated up a portion of the hair significantly, I still leave it in like a curled position. I just keep rotating the iron. That way everything can cool down and ultimately set in a really nice curl. After that, I spray my got to be on there because that ish is life. I use it on everything. I use it on my hair, my wig, my peanut butter sandwiches. I'm kidding y'all. I'm kidding. I'm just trying to be cute, whatever. But yeah, so we're still curling this hair, obviously. <laughs> Is this commentary entertaining? I hope so. I never do voiceovers. I just talk a lot to you guys, you know, in person. But this is fun. This is kind of like refreshing, you know, no pressure. I'm just like, you know, watching this with y'all and giving you my two to 20 cents. So yeah, more of that free spray or whatever. Now, as you can see, I've gone back to the front to remedy the struggle that I was struggling previously. And if y'all can hear my dogs in the background, I sincerely apologize. And I just cut to me finishing this hair up and putting some more mousse on it because again, I can't come and kill myself. And we're just tying that scarf back on so that after my makeup, oh, we're already after my makeup. So I guess I'm putting it on now. Cool, it's cute. So now the wig's on, I'm just gonna brush it out and obviously the top is feeling kind of brick-like because I put on a ridiculous amount of mousse, but I'm that guy, I just really can't come and kill myself. Now I did learn some new techniques for wigs when I was <laughs> living the baby girl life in Las Giddy. So if y'all wanna see that, I'll probably demonstrate in another video. But until then, this is what you're gonna get and this is like how I go out and slay. Yo, when I wore this outfit and this hair and this exact makeup out the night before like literally like 10 people asked me for my number bro it was a good night in baby girl universe so yeah this outfit is from jamila jafar and obviously i'm putting on my Jax cosmetics holographic glitter um because i like to glitter what do you mean like just what my life is about so <laughs> And now here's the final look. I'll also put some pictures at the end so you all can see exactly what we've got going on here. But I'm going to ultimately leave you with music and good vibes for the rest of the video.